Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and for Windows 10. So what was the update and what version number does it bring you? Uh, and on my PC here, an older PC, it uh, worked very well. It is an SSD drive, so it's of course faster uh, probably than a lot of other PCs, but it wasn't very long. It was, uh, I'd say it took about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes the whole process, I mean, from the download to the install to the restart, um, I don't think it took more than maybe 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Um, of course, you'll see that the update is installed by going to Windows Update, if you're wondering. Also, the Windows version is going to tell you. Once again, fixes 68 flaws total, but six is zero days, some of them in Windows. So it's very important to actually apply these updates. So if you look at your update history, of course, the update that came uh, was KB5019959. And that actually brings on the build number, depending on where you are. 21H1 users are on 19043.2251. Uh, 21H2 are 19044.2251. And uh, I'm on 22H2, so it's 19045.2251. And you can check your Windows version by going to the uh, search type WinVer for Windows version and uh, click the run command. You should see that you're at the ending is what's important, 2251. If you're at there at 2251, you have your Patch Tuesday updates done. And uh, it uh, shouldn't take too long. Uh, of course, older PCs will take longer than uh, shorter PCs. One note, though, people that saying that it takes uh, six or seven or eight hours on their PC, you have a problem with your PC. Uh, no updates take that amount of time on a normal uh, functioning PC. Uh, it could take, yes, a certain amount of time. It could take an hour, hour and a half, maybe sometimes on very old PCs, but not six or seven hours. When I see that, um, I, I immediately know that uh, your PC has a huge problem. Something's wrong. Uh, maybe a Windows reinstall would be in order. Or maybe a failing hard drive, things like that. So um, basically, uh, seems to be okay on my machine. If anything pops up or uh, anything broken, of course, I will talk about it in videos when they become available. And uh, that's the uh, November patch Tuesday updates. Of course, the next updates that are optional, optional is a big name, um, will be in a couple of weeks with the C-band optional updates. Of course, once again, like I told you, if you haven't installed the optional update of October, they will install uh, on your machine at the same time. So, for example, if I would add that, maybe now I would be at half an hour or, or a little more for my updates to install. So, that will add to the time of the install also if uh, the uh, optional updates were not installed in October. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.